Don't be scared, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. This is Ja, aka Young Underscore. I'm here with my fellow compadres. Danny Canada. Yeah, yeah. David D. I'm alive and well. I'm no, back. no, no, bagless David D. Bagless David D. You can see your <laughs> no, whole face. No more, no more bag. I'm as bagless as <laughs> Dwight Howard with a lover. <laughs> So, this week, big news. We all got a load of... Br- Not Bruce. Caitlyn Jenner. She is here. She is here. What do we What do we think? What was your first reaction as soon as you saw the Vanity Fair cover of Caitlyn in her glory? Shocked. I thought, really? wow. In a good way. In okay. a good way. Because no one really knew what to expect. We didn't know if she was going to look like Bruce. But she looks like Jessica Lang. Which she all- looks good. Well, okay, so this is what I was going to say. Like, What? <laughs> Everyone, I find that to be the biggest oxymoron of this whole thing. Wait, like, wait, are you saying Janice Dickinson doesn't look hell good? Hell no, Janice <laughs> Dickinson doesn't look good. And neither does Jessica I Lange. Mean. But everybody wants to support Caitlyn in her new endeavors. I get it. I'm just saying that it's kind of funny to say, like, oh, she looks so good. She looks like Jessica Lange and Janice Dickinson. Like, that's... Like they're good-looking like, that's, that's like, you could have just lied and said Cindy Crawford or... Some people have said Cindy Crawford. I did see Uh, that. well... <laughs> um, it appears as though uh, she uh, slayed, snatched wigs. Yes. B word, yes. Can you do it right, though? You have to, like, drag it out. That's uh, No, that's, that's all you got. <laughs> that's, uh, no that's, my, that's the feedback as approved by Twitter. Oh, as approved by Twitter. <laughs> for, yes, uh, Caitlyn. For Caitlyn Jenner. Okay. I was surprised that people were so surprised. I mean, at this point, we've known for, like, a year now that this was coming. Well, this is the first time we've seen Caitlyn in all her glory with, like, the clothes and hopping out the Porsche and, you know, with the, the hair fly. Out the, by the Porsche! Yeah. This is a landmark moment. Uh, I want to shout out uh, No Limit Records. For the, <laughs> Pen for and the, Pixel. For the first time that they got a photo spread yes. in the Vanity Fair. Because I, I think they designed that uh, that picture with her hopping out the next <laughs> bubble. I think so, It too. looked very much like Silk the Shocker's new album. <laughs> Like I expected, like when she was in the in the red in the Lambo, yeah. she was hopping out. I expect like Kane and Abel to be on the back, <laughs> on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. ready to ready Maybe to drop jewels the new. Falling from right? The sky, yeah, that's all like, it needed. Yeah. But so shout out to, to uh, Caitlyn Jenner for dropping the hottest new No Limit <laughs> No, no album. Limit Bike No Limit album cover. <laughs> no Limit is 2015. Bike. Shout out to her. What would Caitlyn Jenner's rap name be? Is a uh, K Camp taken? No K Camp. No K Camp. No K Camp. Yeah, because she's a C. But she be just C call, Camp. Just call her No K Camp. No K. No K Camp. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. No yeah, K no, Camp. No K Camp. No K Camp. No K camp. Mixtape coming soon. The transition. Uh, Laverne Cox. Yeah. She wrote a long uh, essay on her Tumblr, talking about you know what she was saying that you know in her own struggle. I guess she always hoped that her talent as an actress and her personality and her goodwill toward people would outshine. You know, people would judge her on that and not based on the fact that she was a quote-unquote drop-dead gorgeous trans woman. What if Caitlyn what had come out and was out? on, you know, the, the Michael Jordan fashion steeds? Like, I don't know. How, how do you think that would have been received as opposed to how people supported her yesterday? It's not as fleeky if you come out and you're, like, kind of, like, boyish still. Cause it's like, I Yeah, know. I think that's what everybody wanted. I think everybody wanted to see, like, the actual difference. Like, right. not we don't want to see, like, tomboy version of Caitlyn. Well, the best thing about it, the whole experience, is that I don't know if you've seen Anchorman. Yes. yes. You know, where they kicked the dog off over the bridge. Yes, that was like, very unfortunate. Caitlyn basically basically did that to Kim Kardashian baby news <laughs> like she kicked Kim Kardashian's unborn baby off the bridge and nobody cares anymore so anybody who makes Kim's life irrelevant shout out to Kate <laughs> it's all good with shout us shout out to no Kate Kim so how do we feel about this ESPYs thing? Obviously, Arthur Ashe, for those of you who may or may not be aware, was a great tennis star. Um, he died of AIDS, HIV, but he was definitely a humanitarian. He spoke out on a lot of issues you know, for black players, for black sportsmen, for black athletes. I mean, he did a lot of good stuff for a lot of people. I don't know if, I haven't heard Bruce say anything about wanting to be that person is that something that you think he's supposed to do like does he have to be that person now i think um inadvertently like he has to because without i mean just without even trying with him just doing like the diane sawyer interview with him just covering vanity fair like he is becoming kind of that spokesperson and he is somebody that you know the trans community is obviously going to look to so Without even trying, yeah, I think he is going to be in that position. So it's going to be interesting to see what he has to say. 
I think the uh, Arthur Ashe Award is a travesty. Uh, a travesty? It, it is. It should go to uh, an entity that survives, that holds on for dear life when oh, faced boy. with mortality, when faced with uh, being erased from existence and refuses to give up and go away. So I believe the Arthur Ashe Award should go to LeBron James's hairline. <laughs> For uh, refusing to give up, refusing to quit, refusing to be stricken from existence. As I, as I turn my Cleveland Cavaliers snap back around. And, uh, and holding on. Uh, <laughs> tune in every Wednesday. <laughs> Podcast1.com slash boss don't be scared. Tune in, subscribe. Please. Yes. And we tune in. Keep, keep posted on this YouTube channel too. We do things. And continue to support LeBron James and his hairline. All right. Shout out to Gloria. <laughs>